When you are a Sonic fan for the longest time, and you've been a big fan of the 3D games since the adventure games, you probably know about a band named Crush 40. Now, as a Sonic fan, what comes to your mind when you hear the band named Crush 40? Well, obviously they made the greatest song ever in the series that is Live and Learn from Sonic Adventure 2, and they also made What I'm Made Of from Sonic Heroes, and they also made Night of the Wind Fight the Night Through the Fire and Live Life from Sonic and the Black Knight. So yeah, Crush 40 has made a lot of songs from the Sonic series, either from their first song Open Your Heart from Sonic Adventure 1, to their latest song Green Light Ride from Team Sonic Racing. Crush 40 has been heavily praised by the Sonic community by their cheesy hard rock songs for the franchise. But did you also know that they also make songs outside of the franchise? Well, you probably don't know about it. And even if you do know about it, you probably just don't care about them because they're not Sonic songs. I mean, come on. Crush 40's non-Sonic songs are so underrated. And it really is such a shame that people are sleeping on these songs. Because I think that these songs are almost if not just as good as their Sonic songs. And even if they do notice these songs, they mostly posted in the comments that this song should have been in a Sonic game. Or maybe this song, or that song. Not everything that Crush 40 makes doesn't always have to be for Sonic, you know. Just let them have their own thing for once. But yeah, since these songs are so underrated, and since nobody is talking about them, I think I might as well give these songs a time to shine in the spotlight and make a top 10 list of it, cause I love these songs. With that being said, this is my top 10 non-Sonic Crush 40 songs. Starting off with number 10 is Big Mouth from Two Nights to Remember. This song pretty much describes as, well, imagine a scenario where you are in high school and then a big tall bully comes up to you and wants to fight you. But little does the bully know that even though that you are short and skinny, you are actually taught how to do Taekwondo. So instead of you getting beaten up by the bully, the bully gets beaten up by you thanks to your Taekwondo skills. That's pretty much what this song is about. But overall, I think this is a pretty good song. But not as good as the other ones that are on this list. So that's why it's in number 10. In number 9, we got Dangerous Ground from Thrill of the Feel and Crush 40. Now, before I get into the song itself, I should probably address this already, so why it says Sons of Angels on one of the album covers. Well, let me explain. Did you know that in the year 2000, in between Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2, they actually made a lot more songs in that time period? And their original band name was Sons of Angels, but they changed it to Crush 40 because the name Sons of Angels was already taken. And you're probably wondering, why did they made a lot of songs in the 2000s? And what Sonic game was it? Well, those games aren't for a Sonic game. But it's for a game made by Sega. And that game is NASCAR Arcade released in 2000. And that's why there are two albums that you are seeing here. There's the Sons of Angels version, released in 2000, and then there's the re-release, where they are now called Crush 40, released in 2003. And also, these songs focuses on one main theme, and that is racing, because it is for an arcade racing game. But anyways, enough history. How's the song itself? Well, 
the song really gives you that excitement that you are now ready to head out and face off the challenges that what's to come. But there's just one problem that I have with this song. It's too short. So, that's why it's in number 9. And also, just a heads up, these albums are gonna be shown in this list a lot constantly. So, just, just a heads up. Number 8 we got Watch Me Fly from the same two albums. Now this song has a nice slower pace similar to Live Life. If you know that this song came out first before Live Life. But it really is nice to hear Crush 40 having these softer side in their songs. But I don't think that this song is just not as good as Live Life. Cause there is another song in this list that I think is just as good as Live Life. Oh we'll get there. But I still think that this is still a nice chill song anyways. Wanna hear a longer version of Dangerous Ground but with 10 times more adrenaline rush? Well here at number 7 we got Revin' Up. This song really gets you on the move. It is so fast paced and Jun Sunoi's guitar and Johnny's vocals really kicks it up a notch here. I think this is one of the most fast paced songs in the albums. Cause you really get the feel of the excitement in this song. At number 6 we got All The Way from the same two albums. Don't worry, this is now the last time you'll be seeing these two albums in this list, okay? Now personally, I think this song is slightly better than Revin' Up. If Revin' Up has speed, All The Way has energy. It has more impact to it. But yeah, I could say that this is my favorite song in the two albums. It's just that good. And I think this song is the best one with the racing genre that they are going for with these albums. At number 5, we got Two Nights to Remember from Two Nights to Remember. As the main song in the album, it is actually pretty good. The song is basically described as, Hey, I know that the world can be cruel sometimes and life can just tumble you over, but sometimes you just wanna sleep it all off because sometimes your fantasies are better than reality. So yeah, I'd say this is a pretty good song.
Uh, all right, all right, okay. Hear me out, okay? Okay, um, remember what I said earlier that not every song that Crush 40 makes doesn't always have to be related to Sonic? Well, the song is an exception. Wanna know why? Cause now, I can now proudly say that this song should have been in a Sonic game! Come on! The title! Sonic Youth! It has Sonic in the title! And the lyrics! I mean, look at the lyrics! When I've opened my heart, and I've lived and learned, when I'm taking a step in his world? This should have been like the main theme for Sonic Generations, but it's not! Cause the song came out a year after Generations released! And so yeah, this song is a banger! And I understand why this is the most popular non-Sonic Crush 40 song out there, even though that it should have been a Sonic song, but it's not! Cause it also has Watch Me Fly in the lyrics, so that's why it's in the list. But to be honest, it is still a Sonic song. In our dreams, that is. Number 3 we got Is It You from Super Sonic Songs. Ah yes, Is It You. I really love this song. I just love it when Crush 40 does soft rock in their songs sometimes. And this is the song I was talking about that I think that is just as good as Live Life. Because this song is about falling in love for the first time. Where you have these feelings that you have in your chest and you don't know what they are. Because what you don't know, that it is love. Yeah, it is really fascinating to see Crush 40 doing a love song for once. And this could probably be a perfect song to your loved ones. Now at number 2, we got Down and Dirty, another song from Two Nights to Remember. Okay, you're probably not gonna believe me what I'm about to say on what this song is about. Okay? Okay, here we go. Crush 40 made a song about sex. No, no, no. I'm not joking. Crush 40 made a song about sex. Come on, does the title even ring a bell to you? Down and dirty? And if you still wouldn't believe me, here's some of the lyrics. Wake it up and let it out. Put it on and scream and shout. Wind it up and let it go. Rock that baby even more. Hit me up, hit me up. Give me some of that down and dirty. You see what I mean? There was some actual sexual in the windows here. Now, would you say that this song should be in a Sonic game? At least Johnny doesn't say the F word or anything in this song. In fact, he only says damn or hell in one of his songs. Much like the characters from Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, but Jeremy, why did you put it in number 2, you dirty man? First of all, shut up. Second of all, it's not just the lyrics. Cause this song slaps. The instrumentals of this song are so freaking good. Especially the bass. 
That bass goes hard. So yeah, I say this is a great song. Unless if you can ignore the fact that this is a song about sex that is. Before we head on to number one, here's some honorable mentions of songs that I like, but just wouldn't make it to the list. Crazy. When they first released this song in 2019, I already loved it. This is such a banger. Before this song came out, Down and Dirty was originally going to be number one. But then this song came out and took over the number one spot. I can already see a scenario where in the recording studio they were like, Hey, remember that song that we made years ago called Is It You? Where it is literally about falling in love to someone? Yeah, let's make another song years ago and it is about having a breakup with someone with a toxic relationship and let's ignore the fact that love is eternal, okay? So yeah, there is just so much things to love about this song. It's either the vocals, the use of the instruments, Johnny's laugh at the end, June Sano's guitar solo, oh yes, the song is great! And also, is it also odd that this song is better than Greenlight Ride? Even though that these two songs were made in the same year? 
I'm just glad that this song exists. Because this is by far my favorite song from Crush 40 outside of the Sonic series. And that is my top 10 songs, everybody. If you're a big fan of Crush 40's works in the Sonic series, and you are one of those fans who always goes, Oh, Crush 40 this, Crush 40 that, but completely ignored these great songs right here, then I'm sorry. I just don't think that you are a true Crush 40 fan. But I highly recommend you listening to these songs entirely, and give these songs a chance. It is on Apple Music, it is on Spotify, and it is on YouTube officially. But regardless of that, I still love Crush 40 Sonic songs. Cause that's what makes the band popular in the first place. And they now make songs of their own. But I wanna know what's your favorite non-Sonic Crush 40 song. Or what your top 10 favorite songs is. Please, I wanna know in the comments below. So yeah, I just love this band so much. Even if they make songs for Sonic or not. Because if there's one thing I would now say for this band, is that Paramount needs to put one of their songs in Sonic Movie 2. Please do that. But anyways, if you like this video, please hit that like button. So, um, see ya guys! <laughs> Go away!